Second, um, you had to go to university and get your Bachelor of Applied Science. Now, I went to Queens. First two years were just, they were just general engineering. Third year, you choose your specialized place. I chose chemical. Third and fourth, I specialized. It was a good choice. It was a good choice. Yeah. Question number two. Oh, okay. What were three of your favorite things about your job? Okay. Well, um, I loved... I just loved the progression in the job. I loved moving up. So I started off as a technical engineer, and, yeah. and um, I moved up to working with the chemicals, so manufacturing, mm -hmm. and I was making, I was mixing the chemicals, and then I became the manager of ma manufacturing wow, chemicals. That's, that's a lot of I'm not right even there. done. There's one more. Oh, wow. then okay. I was maintenance manager. And then the men. Um, mm, mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty good, okay. Yes. And, and I loved working with the people. They were great people. No. And, and also, I didn't have to travel very much. So traveling wasn't a problem. I, I didn't have to move plants very often. Yeah, like, cool. Yeah. Well, sorry, my mind is pretty noisy. It's okay, today. I know you're not farting. Yeah, oh yeah. Don't it's worry. not you. It's me. <laughs> okay. What were two of the cons of your job? Two of the cons of my job were um, sometimes you get involved with the politics. Oh, of it. yeah, of the job. So um, I didn't love that, and some of the people were a little dare I say it, catty. Okay, that was a good answer. And okay, can you give me like maybe three? examples of chemistry in your job? Oh, sure! I actually made a list, and here's my list right here. I was literally involved with making the chemicals, mixing the chemical reaction, making chemical reactions. For example, um, I would make nitric acid, so we would burn ammonia into a catalyst, and then put the nitrous oxide into water. Mm -hmm. and that would make nitric acid. Then another one would be, I would use that nitric acid that um, I made, and I would react it with ammonia, which was a neutralization react reaction, and I would form a salt called ammonium nitrate. And one more, I would take phosphorus, which we all know is P4. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course you know that. Um, I would react it with a high temperature and with water and steam, and I would make phosphine, which was pH3. And um, the gas would be compressed and liquefied, so we could store it easier. And make sure, if you're ever making phosphine in the future, Ellen, Make sure that you keep that phosphine underwater, because if you did not keep that phosphine underwater, it would react with the air, and it would explode, and it would explode, and it would explode. It would burn and spontaneously okay, combust. Okay, yeah, okay, so that's a lot of that. chemicals right there. That's a lot of that. chemicals right there. That's a lot of that. chemicals right there. I think I might just need a little bit of... Oh! What it? Okay, are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Feel it? Yeah. Feel it? <laughs> Woo! Good, that's it! Okay. 
Oh, oh here she goes. Here he. Okay. <laughs> it was <laughs> wonderful <laughs> talking oh, to you. Great. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Ellen. Um, chemicals. See you next time.